Hello again and welcome to the second in our series on the um, cranial nerves and, and the nervous system for the head and neck. What we're going to be doing now that Sean has kindly taken us through the general principles of the nervous system so you get a broad understanding is we're going to talk about the cranial nerves. Now cranial comes from cranium which is to do with the actual head um, itself which is the, the cranial vault, that's this thing here. And we're going to talk about the nerves that actually come from within the cranium and then emerge out to supply different things. There are 12 of them, 12 cranial nerves, and um, we're going to just um, open up now and talk about them from the different cranial fossa. I'll just remove this mandible for ease of use. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you here, so if you just zoom in, just as a bit of a reminder really, here is your three different terraces. So we've got your top terrace, which is your balcony, anterior cranial fossa, middle cranial fossa, and posterior cranial fossa. Remember, just as a quick recap, the top bit here is to do with smell mainly. Okay, so it's stepping off the balcony, sniffing the morning air. The middle bit here is the city, so this is very busy, and this is mainly the sphenoid bone, and all the millions of holes that are going through there, and then the bottom bit is the sewers, and this is all to do with the, the venous drainage, and we'll talk about some of the holes further down there. Now you may remember when I went through in my earlier video, I mentioned all the different things that go through all of these tiny holes, and um, if we now look at the slides, this is a picture which is just showing us some of the structures going through the um, holes which are cranial nerves okay so if you look at the cranial nerves there's an interesting pattern which you can pick up if you look at the front so this is anterior and this is posterior here so that's me and I've got my skull effectively this way okay so anterior over here posterior at this end if we go back to the slide what we have is we just label them one two, three, four, five, and you see we're coming backwards, so five, and then we go down and we're on six, seven, still heading back, eight, heading back still, 9, 10, 11 all together and heading back finally 12. So you can see straight from the top heading back you can just label them all in order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move on to another model which is our 